Meghan Markle here. Today is January 29th, 2023. It is 4.09 a.m. I cannot start a new video until I finish whatever I was recording. Unless if something major drastic was happening, then I'll stop whatever I'm doing to record something new. But I had to finish whatever I recorded yesterday. So I just finished. So now it's 4 o'clock, 4.09 a.m. And I want to take that opportunity to uh the quietness in the house before people start getting up as a matter of fact it feels like my youngest just went to bed like one one something because it's saturday night going sunday morning so we let him stay a little bit late but anyway a lot going on oh by the way new subscribers welcome there's a lot going on on twitter i was posting a lot of things on my community board i may not go over all of them and I just added two new tweets onto uh, the list. So let's get started. This one was there already. All right. First one. Queen concert Camilla relationship with the UK media establishment is interesting and should be studied for historical reasons. She is connected to every scandal and leaks to the media. Spare. Spare by Prince Harry. Spare by Harry. Okay. So she retweeted this. Someone tweeted who took something from TikTok and put it. I'm not on TikTok, so majority of the time when I see stuff from twi uh, from Twitter that were from TikTok, I share them with you because I'm not on TikTok. I don't plan on being on TikTok. Okay, the royal family might have the power of the whole entire right-wing British media working to destroy Harry and Meghan, but Meghan and Harry have the real people who see the character assassination in real time, and they're investigating to expose it all. You won't do a diner on Harry and Meghan. Spare. All right. So this is the first TikTok video. Let's listen. A little backstory. I'm doing research on Camilla Parker Bowles, specifically how she was able to reinvent her image with the media and who helped her do that. Mark Boland is one of the people I'm looking into. So I'm reading some articles about him. And what do I find? This is from The Guardian. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, I don't know. She probably a squaddy or non squaddy. I do not know. But people are fascinated by the stupidity these people have been playing and uh, right in front of our eyes each time they see something they share it they're putting it out there there's no more you know when diana was by herself fighting these people all by herself now the whole world is watching it may seem like okay it's a small group uh because you know they're pretty much hijack the entire media system social media uh what is it uh radios television you name it they hijack it to spread their nonsense okay but we don't have the power as they do to control those media outlet but every chance that we get little people like me and this person right there they come up with something they share it okay so diana was by herself when things like this were happening to her so now the whole world is watching they're not gonna let the same thing happen but let's continue 2003 in the guest toilet of the clerkenwell penthouse flat that mark boland shares with guy black there are two framed covers one is from a february 2002 issue of media guardian which features photographs of boland black and their close friends rebecca wade and ross kemp montage in the style of a seaside postcard an allusion to the tuscan holiday the quartet had just enjoyed together rebecca wade whose maiden name, Brooks, we have heard in Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, in which he talks about this unscrupulous reporter who publishes an untrue story about him being a drug taker, addicted to drugs, in rehab, etc. There's the connection people are putting together. The light goes on. You give them one little thing, and then when they come across another thing, 
they connect it together and then put it out there for us. Funny enough, when Brooks was at News of the World, she caught the eye of then editor Piers Morgan because all of these people know each other. But previously, she was with the Sun. <laughs> she was with the Sun when the Camilla and Prince Harry meeting leaked to the Sun, which got the exclusive. Mark Boland is friends with Rebecca Brooks. This is a 2012 article from the Daily Beast, which was updated in July of 2017. So this is about the High Grove meeting. Quote, nearly a month later, Rebecca Wade called Sandy Henney, who we've seen in Reinventing the Royals, who was Prince Charles's press secretary. Wade, now Rebecca Brooks, was deputy editor of The Sun and a friend of Mark Boland, <laughs> Charles's deputy private secretary. This is another quote from Sandy Henney. Mark Boland had incredible contacts and balls to do some of the things he did. Whether or not you agreed with some of his methods, he got results. He was incredible fun to work with, but Christ, he had an incisive brain. No wonder the kids called him Black Adder, but scary sometimes. My view of him was that he was working primarily for Mrs. Parker Bowles and then the Prince. He wanted to make Mrs. Parker Bowles acceptable, but you can't treat the institution of monarchy as individuals. You need to treat it as a whole. So Mark Boland. There's the Dr. thing here. Heavy wants to differentiate this stuff, but these people want to combine everything. What I mean by that, Harry wants, when he's doing uh, public affair, that's public. When he wants to do, be private, family time, that's private. But these people wants to mangle everything into one where there's no boundary. Okay, so that's what I got from this. Let me move it back slightly. Can't treat the institution of monarchy as individuals. You need to treat it as a whole. Mm -hmm. Mark Boland, spin doctor for the Royals, but really Camilla Parker Bowles is friend. <laughs> Okay, there's another video. Let's continue. Be confusing how all these people are connected. So I don't know if this is going to clear things up. Maybe it will. It's definitely a first draft, but here we go. So we have... <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> this thing is so fascinating. People are after power and eventually they're going to end up with nothing. And she's so fascinated by that. She created a little diagram, but let's listen. Camilla Parker Bowles. Okay. Mark Boland works for Prince Charles, but really Camilla Parker Bowles starting the, the reinvention of her image or, or continuing that process on in the late 90s, very early 2000s, right? Yeah, I have a video of that when uh, Camilla went to a restaurant by herself and then when she come out, she came out with uh, Charles. So yeah, that was very well documented. And I think there are time when I put it, they, uh, uh, YouTube sort of uh, flag it. So I'll see. Uh, maybe I'll put a still image or something. Right. Mark Boland previously worked for the PCC, which is the Press Complaints Commission, which is a self-regulatory body of papers and such is very well known on Fleet Street, knows all the players. Okay. Exactly. They're all friends. This is why they always turn a blind eye. They have their friends in every decision making position. So when they do something stupid and you go and complain when the particular office was supposed to be for the people. Guess what? They turn a uh, they turn a blind eye. It's almost like the IPSO, I believe they uh, they said IPSO. And uh, when Harry went um, and made complaint about the newspaper, they claimed the paper didn't do anything. So Harry never went there anymore. And he went. He always go to the court. And people are saying, why he keep on suing? Because the IPSO never really take his complaint seriously. They turn a blind eye. So this is the thing here. They all have their bodies in every post. Okay, they have all of their corners connected and their bodies are there. So this is what I got from this. All right, I'm moving in back slightly. I need to stop anyway, okay? I know you guys are upset. Just go on TikTok yourself. Tory body of papers and such is very well known on Fleet Street, knows all the players. Okay. Mark Boland's longtime partner is Guy Black. Guy Black was the PCC head at the time that Mark Boland was working for the royal family. So like literally in bed. And then he's also now the executive director for the Telegraph Media Group, which includes the Sunday and the Daily Telegraph, which are part of the Royal Rota. <laughs> Okay, and then Mark Boland is friends with Rebecca Brooks, who is now Wade. She worked for the News of the World and The Sun. She was the one that got the details, got the story out about Prince William meeting with Camilla, and then also the Prince Harry drug story around 2001, 
2002-ish. This is the thing that's happening over there, okay? So they got their blueprint, the UK, or I guess Camilla, whoever, you know, friends with all of those high people in special places. They keep on doing their blueprint. No one in the UK never stop and say, when I say people, I mean the citizen, okay? Stop and think and say why this keeps on happening. So she gets away with it, so she continue. Okay, the plan been working since 1981. That's one of the things the squad be saying. She's been messing up family since 1981. Okay, so she, she keep on with her blueprint. So why stop when it's working? But people are stopping now and taking a look and she create her little uh, diagram. She also caught the eye of then editor Piers Morgan. Mm -mm -mm. Piers Morgan is also friends with Camilla Parker Bowles. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he owns like an original piece of art that she made. And he, of course, is obsessed with Meghan Markle. Mm -mm -mm. And then we have Camilla Parker Bowles' longtime friendship with Petronella Wyatt, who had an affair with Boris Johnson. She's a writer as well as a friend. She wrote for the Sunday Telegraph and The Spectator and has written, you know, theories about. Meghan Markle My being, goodness. you know, a bully, etc. Although she's recently changed her opinion. It was all Harry's fault after the book came out that implicated her friend as being a source of leaks. And finally, we have Jeremy Clarkson, who she's also known for a while as a friend. They did some sort of like country life article together. I have to look into it more. But anyway, at the same Christmas luncheon that happened recently mm -hmm. and then went on to write that truly horrific piece yeah. about Meghan Mark. My goodness. Yep, she got it. Let's see here. Okay, she seems to show up in all of them, doesn't she? Anyone who goes for Meghan all have connection to Queen Concert, always. Mm -hmm. It is interesting to watch people finally connect the dots regarding all this relationship and using the receipt the squad has been posting for years one thing she missed thus far is camilla was apparently the person behind hiring bolin she vetted him before charles my goodness <laughs> the squad knows those things too well done yes everything seems linked surprise surprise okay the connection is there these people aren't working for free camilla and charles had to give up or pay them something that they couldn't refuse okay this is a brilliant piece i don't know for some reason it's the wife that's behind most of this i mean i don't want to give charles a free pass but i think she's behind all of it because when you think about it there's charles due to his bloodline the position is guaranteed to him there is no if or but it is his and his alone okay so who will want power to be next to him? Just think about that. When you know something is already for you, because when you look back, again, I'm not trying to give Charles a pass unless he give, he did something very drastic and then the wife is holding it against him. But when you look at his past before, forget about the Diana part. This is completely effed up to me. Okay, when you look at the work that he's doing, he's into architecture, farming, and all sort of other things that seems very on brand to some of the things he's in interesting and, and passionate about. But that woman, that woman he got really, it's like a freaking monkey on his back. Okay, so the, it's the woman that is really ruining it for him. And then he's going to end up, both of them, or maybe all of them, going to end up with nothing. Because that woman wants too much power. Look right after Princess, um, the queen died. One of the things I came across was she sent a letters to, I guess, tabloid or newspapers to call him a queen. Okay, what the F? Okay, when the queen was alive, they claimed that she would be called queen concert. When you look at when Prince Philip got married to the queen, they didn't even want to call him king, even though he sh should have been called king. But due to whatever power grabbing and whatever, he settled with whatever it is and he moved on with his life. Okay, so it's someone who's really after power that's doing all of this. And, and this is also why I say I see some sort of... Uh, reconciliation between Charles and Harry to a certain extent I said in one of my videos I don't remember why I thought of that but 
somehow I still feel there's some um, things that could be patched on. However, in order for this to be done, Camilla must not get involved one inch. Charles should never tell Camilla what he spoke to Heavy about or when he's gonna nothing he, she should not know nothing about harry when it comes to charles and harry and megan okay even when they're taking pictures she should not even be in the picture okay they, she should not know absolutely nothing nothing if they're gonna meet charles and harry and whatever camilla should not be in the picture whatsoever because she is ruining it for them I don't know why they feel like when people are uh, fighting among each other, when the family is fighting among each other, they're going to be somewhat elevated. I don't see how this works, but if Charles wants to keep uh, a kingship for whatever amount of time he has left on this earth, that woman is going to ruin it for him. Okay. With that being said, let's go to the next tweet because I have a lot of tweets to share with you. I'm already 15 minutes. All right. Next tweet there's that um so i'm not quite clear why people can understand the bow will that bow will be organically directed at will and kate for tone deaf imagery whether it go to a food bank for pr or caribbean colonial cosplay it's almost as if the world order is used to coordinating hate and are projecting all right so there's richard palmer so i'm not quite clear why there has been so much bow directed at William and Kate online. It's almost as if it's coordinated by fans of the Sussexes or other cyber warrior groups. Don't, I only share those screenshots to people. I don't follow Richard Palmer. I don't comment on his stuff. Nothing. Okay. If he wants to hear what I have to say about him, he just have to watch my channel because I do not follow these people. If the squad don't bring screenshot like this, I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. Um, let's see here. I love that Palmer is left covering the four clowns and that the exit of the Sussexes means Bully and his wife has to put in more work and effort. The royals and the media open a can of worms with the constant criticism of Harry and Meghan. And now eyes are wide open about these visits. Okay. What is it? They went to a food bank um and then they didn't bring anything so people are talking about it okay we only shook our heads and laugh with everyone else you think the middle aged prince and princess of wales will have known to at least let others know how they could actually help the food bank the squad don't even bother mentioning the, this before the voter spent pitting one couple against the other with Harry and Meghan not there, people can now see it was always William and Kate not willing to learn, adapt, or change. A new standard was set by Harry and Meghan and royal family need to get with the program. Okay. Oh, honey. They love doing tone deaf. It's what they really excel at. They've had so much practice. They do it perfectly. All uh, right. Another example of a non squatty <laughs> Okay. There's this here. Oh, so this is the thing that she did. All right. I find it, I find a photo app involving a princess handling tens of food destined for people with no money particularly revolting. Imagine if journalists hammered the glorification of food banks by people who never need to use them rather than workers on strike. Okay, seven seconds. Let's see, what did they say? Okay, I don't know what they say. It's very, it's like mumbling. Okay, a growing Republican movement wasn't enough for them, I guess. So they have to antagonize the Sussexes and create a new group that hates them. <laughs> they create a new group that... <laughs> it, it took a second to for me to process it. Okay, Palmer doesn't understand that people are criticizing Willie and Kate's behavior as he should also do. <clears throat> Okay, they just meant that people can see that the emperor has no clothes. Okay, since Harry left, William and Kate are exposed for the two lazy individuals they are, who when they do bother to turn up are really well prepared. Whoever is managing their PR, including hacks like Palmer, seriously need to up their games. I think it was um, him, Richard Palmer, when they went to the Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian, um, food bank or whatever charity and then when william said uh you know he could only bring a smile or whatever 
I'm sorry we can only come and give words and comfort, but we're, we are thinking about you the whole time and we really care about what's going on. So Sometimes it does more than financial. Yeah. Well, if we can give you a little smile here and there, that's important. So, yeah. And uh, Europe never experienced war. And I think he says something like it's only Africa and Asia that uh, experience war. And people were calling him out on it. And then once, uh, I think it was Richard Palmer who reported on that, um, when people start, uh, there was a backlash on that. Um, I forgot exactly how it went, but the voyevoda who put the information out, now distancing himself from the reporting, and then start blaming other people, like minorities. One, for instance, uh, uh, something Nadine White, who retweeted what Richard Palmer had tweeted, instead of blaming Richard Palmer, they were blaming uh, Nadine White. And that's how I came across Nadine White. And I also think Omid Scobie, they blame Omid Scobie on it. So this kind of thing. And then Nadine White was like, look, I clearly cited where I got my information from. All right. I think Richard Palmer, I'm paraphrasing now, Richard Palmer was one of several other uh, royal voters who were at that meeting. He was the one who reported it and then I retweeted or something like that. So she's like, don't blame me for this because every, you know, they send their nonsense, their, their groups to go and hit on um, Nadine White and Nadine White was like, nope, that's not me. Don't I cited exactly where I get my information. I wasn't even in the room. Okay, because I think Richard Palmer was doing that for AP or something like that. I think I have some screenshot or something, mostly of Nadine. All right, let's finish this and move on. Coordinated, there's a laugh, they're useless. It's obvious, you don't have to be a squaddy to see that. Okay, William has almost completely avoided any hint of negative press for his entire life. So I'm sure it's shocking to their system, stepping out of that brand new SUV, wearing expensive recycled, <laughs> she put it in quote, recycled clothes to manhandle milk boxes isn't the when they thought it would be. Okay, all the world sees now that they really don't do a job since Harry and Megan is gone. Their time is up, their shield is gone, uh, right? Have they ever thought that they're just that bad at what they do? Harry pulled that magic out from under them. They out in the open now, front and center. Hey, they wanted spotlight. I still don't understand why they want spotlight because spotlight bring imperfection as well. And usually people will talk about more of the imperfection. So if you're not perfect all the time, why would you want to be on the, in front of the spotlight? Hey. That's come with the territory. Okay, have they ever thought that they're just, okay, I just read that. It's like everyone is meant to pretend they are authentic in any way when their action have repeatedly proven they are not willing to tune in or learn a damn thing. Uh, right after this, that's it. This person is not Sussex squad and has no ulterior motive except to call it for what it is. All right, so she retweets somebody here. The most gut-wrenching, sickening post imagined across my timeline today is a photo of the uber-privileged prince and princess of Wales visiting a food bank, noblesse less obliged. <laughs> okay, in other words, the quote, great and the good, and quote, patronizing the poor. Mm. See, that's not a squaddy. All right, part and parcel of the invisible contract, even the members of the detestable voter have got to know how bad most of these messes look. They just not allowed to call it out. Okay, definitely projecting. William feels entitled to all and Kate is already cosplaying for the role since the wedding. Why even refer to the squad? Are they covering that too? Sorry, we are unconsequable sold. Our heads are bloody but unbow. Never will bow to these clowns. All right, <laughs> there's more. It's because it is because people finally added two plus two and got four. Notice their abusiveness. Okay, they didn't expect any blowback after we saw their true nature and spare. Mm hmm. Let's go to the next tweet. <laughs> uh uh uh. There's that. Okay, I need some of this Sussex Squad power that these derangers and their mouthpiece, the British media, believe we have to wield throughout my everyday life. Okay, so there's Richard Palmer again. Okay, so I'm not quite clear why there has been so much battle directed at William and Kate online. It's almost as if coordinated by fans. Same thing, okay, the squad are talking about it. 
All right, there's this voivode finding it hard to believe that British people are vocal and upset by this grinning idiot. <laughs> grinning idiot out of food bag, huh? Let's see this. Oh, shit. The kids are laughing. Okay, in the bag, a laughing kid and husband, Prince William, visit Windsor Food Bank. Okay, foods, was it? S-H, it cuts. Okay, quit the nodding. Will seizes Kate during food bank visit. Will seizes Kate as uh, they help at food bank. Then she marked his trolley's loading skills. Oh, that's what he's, she's laughing about? Oh, damn. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. Let's see this. The only coordinated dangerous groups are the Royal Voda and the British media. They drive people to consider and commit suicide. That is true. Okay. Good morning, fellow warriors. <laughs> That's a commercial here. Okay. Who's going to send our welcome package to our new members? Okay. Who's that? Okay. Wiki Walsh. Sick of seeing us being played for effing fools here the royal family shows up to a food bank yesterday nothing but swooning press article all day they didn't bring so much as a package of effing crisp oh my god okay i find a photo app involving a princess handling tens of food destined for people with no money particularly revolting imagine if journalists hammered the glorification of food banks by people who'll never need to use them rather than workers on strike wow uh 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 there's this bill and kathy are trash it's not our fault that the world is waking up to it there's a laugh we've got the power it's getting it's getting it's getting <laughs> kind of uh hectic all right another message directly from kp via surrogate there's no bullying i kepu uh he doesn't understand that bully and kitty are getting bow directed at them because they aren't authentic and are out of touch with struggling of their subjects all right so there's more comment let's move on oh my god 26 minutes i can't believe i'm already there all right next tweet there's that okay this is the dragging they were getting uh, i don't think i shared this on my community board if i did i don't remember okay this is what happened when harry and megan are not scapegoats of the royal family anymore you wanted the shine and attention you got it let's see this one Okay, please stop sending royals and politicians to food banks, having millionaires arrive empty-handed, well-fed, pampered, posing for photographs, surrounded by security, and seemingly unable to either understand or open their own car doors is embarrassing and offensive. Put up or shut up. Hey, that just remind me the the thing that they were saying about uh, Megan for closing her own car door. There, there's that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I find a photo app involving a princess handling tons of food destined for people with no money particularly revolting. Okay, so I just read this and another one. Imagine if journalists hammered the glorification of food banks by people who never need to use them rather than workers on strikes. Mm -mm -mm. Next one. There's this here. Uh, the royals have gone food banking. <laughs> you could read that. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, there's the national. This visit a little more than PR for the royals. Yeah. Uh, 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 the national scat. Royals accused of using food banks trips as a publicity stunt. Yep, this is something you're gonna see um, at the end of the year when they're doing, uh, that was supposed to be the tax reporting, but instead what sort of work they did to show the public. So this is what this is all about okay for years they have done that and nobody cares and and this time is over yep until the squad been uh pointing it out for years uh well before i started talking about it. megan and harry actually donate their own money to world vision international a humanitarian organization helping children families and their communities overcome poverty and injustice see the difference there's three comments in here not to mention the million plus they've given to World Central Kitchen to build emergency facilities for food deliveries for refugees or other disasters across the planet. Yep, I've shared some of these on my other channel. I need to do a visit on their um, uh, Twitter page. I haven't reported much about them lately. Okay, Dumb and Dumber, apparently they are working. <laughs> Let's see here, they have... They have to be seen working anything to try and draw attention away from Harry and Meghan. 
whatever, because right now, what is it, Spare? Harry already did his uh, promote the book, and now they're probably back to their drawing board for their next project. And I think I share something on my community board. I hope I bookmark it. Uh, what is it they're doing hiring? Okay, so now they're into the, the next project. They're not worrying about what's happening over there because they have more important things to do. Okay, they have to be seen working anything to draw attention away from Harry and Meghan. That cartoon made me giggle. NGL, so accurate. Okay, the pettiness and me is in cloud nine. The people are tired of lazy and staying at Royals. Let the dragging begin. OMG, that cartoon. All right, let's go to the next tweet. Okay. Oh, so there's a video of that. 21 seconds. Been a married and royal for 11 years, plus an off and on professional royal girlfriend <laughs> for 10 years prior. <laughs> oh my God. The squad have way of wording that. But it's true though when you think about it. Okay, let me start all over. Been a married and royal for 11 years, plus an off and on professional royal girlfriend for 10 years prior shows up to a food bank empty-handed since her baby brain is somehow still learning <laughs> 21 seconds yeah, I think so. we have great yes, they're very generous. I'm just learning good luck with that but the thing is that well at least she's <laughs> let's give her a pass because the husband said the last time they went to the Ukrainian um was it charity place okay he said he could only show a smile to show he care well, if we give you a smile here and there that's important so yeah but here she's saying she's learning i guess she didn't learn from the husband the smile i don't know <laughs> there's that here the warrior have gone food banking show this thread okay i'll come to this end of you okay uh did this lazy pampered <laughs> okay that's the word here just tell workers at the food bank good luck with that yep that's what i heard i think it's the food bank worker saying good luck with that and response to kkk i'm just learning yeah let's listen to it again because i think i heard that too okay let's start all over okay that's her saying i'm just learning okay now you're gonna hear the food bank worker saying good luck with that okay so they say something about donation the lady mentioned about the generous donation they received from who? Uh, Kate Middleton says she's just learning, learning how to do what the F. Okay, it's playing again. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I think th this person is correct. A woman age 41 is still learning about the way food banks work. She's not even mediocre, she's worse. <laughs> one comment under it she doesn't care as she knows the media will always report favorably yeah that's true let's see here one the uk media not so and the rest of the world okay let's go back okay does anyone know who the lady is talking about when she mentioned the very generous donation it seems that whoever it was made made her try to go on the defensive there's the thinking let's see here Okay, and she said, good luck with that. <laughs> That's the laugh. Uh, did she really? Well, after 20 years, she's still learning the basics. So it's a fair comment. There's one comment. Okay. Oh, shit. This is long. Okay. At this point, Willard and the cloth horse should just give up. Nothing they do will ever be taken seriously. They keep trying to fool the public. Okay. They the thing is that if they just sat there and ate their food and let Harry and Megan do what they enjoy doing, none of this would have been seen to them. But they asked for it. Hey, you get it. Okay. They keep trying, failing at, uh, okay, failing abysmally. Uh, this is the result of a extremely inept, malicado, obtuse and mediocre people being told that they are they're somehow very special yep tone deaf as f and perry has no close scenario okay let's go back let's read what's this and what's there and then that's it okay she doesn't care and seems pissed when the woman told her they receive a generous donation 
Okay, let's see one more comment in there. Okay, that's the part I don't understand. The lady, she is she explaining Kate the generosity of the public to have food banks running and Kate acts petty and mad. Good for that lady to sassy reply back to Kate. Well, good luck with that. There's a clap. Baby brain needs all the luck. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. I thought Kate had been trained for this type of work during her 10 years waiting period for a marriage proposal for William, but she's still learning after 11 and a half years of marriage. The UK citizen need to understand what Kate is really saying. <laughs> I don't care. Exactly. You know what that remind me? When Melina, uh, Melania Trump had that jacket saying she doesn't give a shit. I, well, she didn't say it like that. It's like, I don't care or I don't really care. Something like that. Uh, it's the same thing. Next tweet. She looks so pissed when the woman told her they received generous donation. She looks so pissed like that time kids saw her. They were uh, Harry and Meghan fans. <laughs> let's see here. She retweeted that. That's where I just came from. Okay. So let's read some of the comments. Okay. She got defensive real quick. LOL. Reminds me of that guy reminding her she hadn't visited her patronage in eight years and she tried to laugh it off. <laughs> the squad the squad remember this is the the elephant and and the squad is all right let's go into that this is she's a loser uh it's honestly so embarrassing she's in her 40s and this is the best she can do okay where is that video and the video of the kids saying they love harry and megan i've missed this one did anybody put it nope let's go back oh uh, can you link the video uh, you mentioned of the kids okay let's see did anybody put it oh so it's a, a article okay i hope someone else has the video here's the article about it all uh, right i don't think i have it but like by itself it's within a uh, recording of tweets can you imagine me go through several videos hour long video just for look for a f maybe not even two minute video okay after the oh okay let me finish it not very well briefed press office explain what exactly oh yes they don't know either so she's like she drank two bottles of wine the night before what is it trying to learn obviously if you go into the food bank you have to take stuff <laughs> okay let them eat cake all right let's go to the next tweet oh my god 37 minutes oh my god i'm probably gonna have two videos i might cut it into two i'm just gonna record and then have a part one and part two all right october 1985 king charles is quote frugal to the point of meanness end quote uh he loves to check the refrigerator to make sure the servant aren't overeating at his expense what in the name oh no no wonder they show up at food banks empty-handed <laughs> when you look at where harry was uh uh, was staying and eating there's that picture of him and the like in the yard um uh, eating uh, and was it you have guy looking at him i have that picture i'll show you and also that remind me when megan did the the cookbook at the opening and you see harry with the samosa behind his back my goodness Whew, so many things okay october 1985 oh my god the squad have received from 1985 what in the name let's read charles for his part was happy for his bride to evolve into the super slow and ranger but less well about the excesses of the new pricely development his estate bring him an income of over one million pound a year but he is frugal to the point of meanness one of his less endearing traits is to check the refrigerator at high growth for any sign the servants are overeating at his expense Diana appalled at the house discomfort when she first saw it immediately went into overdrive with the interior designer Dudley Poplock to create a comfortable if predictable Chenzi country home. And Prince Charles is one of the most demanding. Charles likes, it was a particular dish he likes to eat when he goes out hunting, which is softly boiled eggs and scotch whiskey waiting for him when he comes back but of course they never know when he's coming back one of his less endearing traits is to check the refrigerator at high growth for any sign the servants are overeating at his expense so a good half an hour before he's due back they start boiling up a batch of 20 eggs for three minutes exactly 
And then if he hasn't arrived in those three minutes, they throw them away. Then they start another batch. Oh my goodness. Princess Diana saw it. My goodness, they had the perfect person, but this is not what they want. But he's receiving people who don't even have money to pay him taxes to live so lavishly. But yet, he's checking his fridge to make sure nobody is overeating at his own expense. Oh my goodness. Uh, next tweet, there's no comment. Next tweet, beyond mockery, abolish the monarchy. All right, charity I used to work for had a visit from a royal some years ago. They made a donation which we were allowed to tell people about for publicity purposes on condition we never said the amount. <laughs> it was 25 pounds. <laughs> I love the pettiness. <laughs> they were not allowed to say how much, but they said 25 pounds. <laughs> My goodness. Now, she's not working there, but anyway. Okay, so you mean to tell me Chunky went into one of his suitcases stuffed with million, took only a effing 25 pounds to donate to the people he's leeching off of every month. Mm -mm -mm. I believe it was him as well. <laughs> people are predicting. Okay, oh, and she's famous for not wanting her hard work to get any publicity. Okay, why the royals are completely trash. What is it? And then that remind me when uh megan let's just say the sussexes okay donated to the charity when things was really heated and i think they were leaving or they had left already and they made a donation to a charity and that chari charity kept his mouth shut they want to say and then it was after maybe months and said uh, they donated uh harry and megan donated to their charity they were afraid that uh, they will get a pushback guess what I don't lucky for him I, or whichever that charity was I don't remember the name of the charity because once you get on the Sussex's bedside you will never get any a dime from the squad and the squad are very uh, generous when it comes to giving okay we don't have much but we don't mind sharing a little bit of what we have all right 25 what 2500 25,000 25 million i know them well it better not be a measly 25 plan of dollars that's what it is let's see here okay i thought okay i thought did she miss the type thousand okay pound is the symbol of the british pound okay there's that what's this okay it's 25 pound a measly 25 pound sterling <laughs> okay that's a commercial right there let's go back <laughs> 25 pounds there's the look what that is while okay there's that this is so ridiculous i still can't believe this is true okay different language there's that let's go to the next one We ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. As you saw me find the love and happiness that I'd hoped for all my life. 
Oh, 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 oh,